So for the creative curriculum learning in the prep school years one to six this year, following on from fire and water, we decided that having recently won the Independent Schools Green Award, we thought it was ideal to follow on and continue momentum by the prep school doing their creative curriculum based on environment and sustainability. Uh, Dr Richardson, who's head of science in the senior school, launched it with an assembly and he used the idea of comparing the environmental impact and sustainability of paper, plastic and cotton bags. And then following on from that, each um, teacher from the prep school took an area of the curriculum and designed a creative activity on which to deliver to all of the year one to six children. So at the end of the assembly I then introduced the groups theme. So we decided that because of the environmental aspect we would group the students based on a 1970s children TV programme which I'm very familiar with at my age but the prep school students uh, and actually some of the younger staff were not and these were the Wombles who were a mini community uh, that lived on Wimbledon Common and they would go around collecting other people's litter and doing good things with them. So the novelty of these creative curriculum events is that we vertically group the students so they were in groups of 16 or 17 students ranging from the ages of year one to year six and what's lovely is that you see the year fives and sixes being excellent role models to the younger students and the younger students looking up to their older counterparts and you see the cohesion and the progress and the interactive learning and collaboration which is just wonderful to see. So Alison Thomas, who is a senior teacher for history and politics, unbelievably volunteered to give up some of her time to do humanities. And she did this based on a community in Gee's Bend. So Gee's Bend is um, a once enslaved community. Uh, they were based in Alabama and they were cotton pickers. And this community would save and hold on to every remnant of fabric that they could and put them together to make quilts. Then Miss Artingstall decided that she, following on from the humanities, would make quilts with remnants of material. So each student has made their own square and designed it. And Miss Artingstall is amazing. She is going to join all of these individual pieces into one collaborative piece, which we'll be able to display in Wilberforce. My favorite thing was make, making quilts out of fabric. It is where we had a sheet of fabric and we stuck little fabric bits on with glue. What I learned was the community in Jeeves Bend in America made quilts out of leftover fabrics. And then we also did quilting, which I really liked. So we got a piece of fabric and then we had three fabrics to choose from. So, so you had three fabrics that you could take. So yeah, you took those and then you stuck them on the piece of fabric and then it made like a square and then everyone else did that and we're making a huge quilt and someone's going to sew it all together to make a huge quilt. Mr Cooper did poetry and oracy so he did lots of, lots of scaffolding for that and then the students worked collaboratively to produce their final pieces and deliver them to the rest of the group. My favourite thing was the poster so we did um, like we wrote sentences and we had squares of paper which we got to write like uh, the most important bits like maybe devastating or like terrifying um, and we would write those on it and stick them into the sentence of what we would do and then at the end we would draw pictures and like write extra things if we wanted. It was about like how we could help the world and like uh, be better and not like, um, put too much plastic waste in the ocean. Miss McLean did business and entrepreneurship so she um reached out to parents of students of Seaford Prep and had volunteers to come in and talk about their individual businesses and the links that they had to the environment and sustainability. It was really good having the parents come in and talk about their jobs for the environment. Yeah, and it was really fun. 
Miss Gray did the science activity and we used recycled, um, we repurposed jars and uh, two litre bottles and made terrariums. My favourite things were um, the terrarium which was like a, so we got old jam jars and we rinsed them out and we put a plant inside and we put moss and rocks in there and then we had a cute little plant to put on the shelf in the classrooms and things like that. But one of my personal favourites, probably the um, terrarium because I have some plants in my room and I kind of wanted another one and the terrarium got me another one and it was very fun. My favourite thing was the terrarium because we it, we built it up in layers so we did like little like pebbles or stones and then we put this charcoal, then we had the soil, then we put the soil in, then we put our plant in so it looked like really nice at the same time. Mr Cutler and Mr Foley, they did maths and IT and using cardboard boxes and remnants of materials they made uh, solar ovens using cardboard and other recyclable materials. And um, when the weather was favourable, the biscuit and marshmallow that they put in the oven would melt and make a s'mores. Um, however, cloud cover did scupper one or two of the sessions, but it didn't stop the children from having fun. Uh, Mr Gray and Miss Hardy, they put together a music, dance and drama piece themed around the environment and sustainability. Don't let down trees, just help them please. My favourite, favourite part was the drama. So basically in the drama studio we did dancing and we did our like own little plays that we made up. And then we decorated these bags which were made out of um, uh, cotton wool from the trees. And they were really nice and we decorated them and it was really fun and I really liked that. Um, Miss Stevens and Mrs Jones, they did um, they used recycled milk bottles, milk cartons, and they have made a sculpture. And they had pictures of trees and flowers and messages like, think about eco, think eco, and stuff like that. But we've put it out in the common room for everyone to see. And they also made seed bombs, which at the very end of all of the sessions, the students met and launched their seed bombs onto a patch of shorky ground which we hope will grow and bear the fruits of their labours next year. I really enjoyed the seed bomb throwing with all my mates, it was really fun. So um, these events cannot be a success without the enormous efforts and a kind donation of time, um, not only from the staff in prep school, but from um, A-level students who had just finished, they returned to help out, and um, there were 29 senior school teaching staff who gave up their non-contact time in order to help us out, which was greatly appreciated. The take home message from Dr Richardson's assembly was not to use single use plastics and to recycle and repurpose wherever possible and just observing children as I've gone around all of these wonderful activities there's been lots of language and um, discussion about how students can take this on from learning it inside the school into life outside of school. So this is currently a key issue and giving students the opportunity to learn about it, discuss it, should they wish to take that on, they've been given a really great grounding in order to do so. Mm -hmm.